You gotta dance. No, <laughs> we gotta dance for a minute while we wait for our people to get on. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Recipe of the Day. We have a special guest here today. We are gonna be making a couple yummy things for you today. So we are excited to have you with us today. And I will introduce my special guest here once I get us going here live. This is my buddy and my neighbor, Gary Young, who is a fabulous, fabulous cook. And we have so much fun making so many yummy meals. Um, we have eaten a lot of COVID food. They have eaten a lot of our COVID food that we've been making during this um, time. Hey, Janet and Debbie, how are you guys? Oh, there's my sister. Hello, sister. Welcome. This so will start with you. It is my sister's wedding anniversary today. Happy anniversary to you. Many, many years. I won't give, give away how many. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about what we're going to make today, sir. We're going to make a roasted tomatillo and avocado salsa. Yum. Then we're going to make a rosemary salt. Ooh. And if you know about rosemary salt, you know. <laughs> If you know, you know. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> and then lastly, we're going to be making an avocado egg dish that's a fantastic breakfast. Easy breakfast, microwave, carb friendly. It is low carb and delicious and one of his favorite things. So I asked him, I said, what do you want to make uh -uh, on the show? We'll make your favorite thing. So we're going to start with his roasted tomatillo salsa. So we have the tomatillos roasting in the oven here. So he will pull those out. And we will get started. I'll just tell you what's on his pan here. Hey, Instagrammers, welcome. So tomatillos, about 10 tomatillos, a half of a white onion, and two serranos, and garlic. And roast it in your oven, nice and browned. Yep. So, and there's a serrano on there, it looks like to me. So he roasted these under the broiler for about 10 minutes while we were waiting for you guys. So they are just slightly roasted. Um, but the garlic is nice and brown and the tomatillos are brown too on the top. And easy, 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 easy. So it's all going in here to the food processor. They're a little bit warm. Oh my gosh, yum. Yes, the best salsa ever in my opinion. Yes. So one of his favorites. There you go. Throw that in there. Okay. So where did you learn how to make salsa? Uh, I, I, one of my favorite restaurants here in Ventura makes this salsa. Uh, it's called Cuernavaca. You need to add a little salt to it. And then you need to add a half of an avocado in there. He, uh, he is uh, cl uh, closer in here, so people can see what you're up to. Okay. All, all goes into the... All goes in to the pool. And... <laughs> this way. He's got the uh, instant parameters. He's got the uh, police guard here next to you. and then throw it all in the processor, and then boom, we got salsa. I'm gonna give you something to put that in. There we go. And we got fresh tomatillo, because I mean, who doesn't love green salsa? Now if I know him, um, with the salsa, we would make it very spicy. When they come over for dinner, he brings a plate of habaneros and uh, jalapenos cut up with a little salt on top. What kind of salt do you put on top of it uh, when you bring Habaneros and the sea salt. Oh, oh the uh, a uh, Chef Marito's um, ado adobo salt. Adobo salt. So that's an another trick that he that he does. It's so, so Lisa, good. So Lisa, once you taste this and see okay. what you think. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Yum. Now it could be spicier. Oh wait, no, no. Here it comes. <laughs> I take that back. It could probably be spicier for Gary and Gary, but. For me, it's good, delicious. Oh You're my starting gosh. to sweat. I know. Oh my god. I know. Hey, Sio, how are you? Florence, John, is that one of your friends? John McLaren? Your friends is watching? There you go. So you never know who's watching. 
Okay, so that's our first recipe is simple green salsa. I'm going to need to clean that out. Okay, well let, let me help you All with right. that. I will clean it out while you get ready for your next thing here. I don't want to waste any because, man, that's delicious. Okay. So the next thing we're making is a rosemary salt because if you know, you know. And how, how you use it on or what you use it for. It goes good on anything, actually. Uh, it, it's just basically a, an herb salt. It's got rosemary, it's got thyme, it's got sage, and then I use a coarse sea salt and I, and I grind it all up and it's good stuff. Oh my gosh. This is, um, when he brought me some, and I'll show you this cute package, he, he, he brought me some, and I'm going to dry it here because he's going to make salt. So I'm getting this on here. Hey Patty, how are you? Oh my gosh. Dry enough? Yep, perfect. Okay. Salt will dry it up. Alright. And here's the blade. Here's the blade. That will dry it off a little bit. There That's we perfect. go. Okay, here we go. Hey Stephanie, how are you? We are making, we just made a yummy tomatillo avocado. Put that in the shot here. Tomatillo avocado salsa. And now he is going to, to make, see the director? <laughs> <laughs> Follow your director's orders. <laughs> directors. I'm thinking about half of a cup of uh, coarse sea salt, and then about three leaves of sage, a couple tablespoons of rosemary, and a teaspoon or so of thyme. Put it all in the pool. Yep. And then we're going to grind that baby up. Oh my gosh. And since he's at my house, this is what he brought me when he made it for for, for for me, he brought me this cute jar. And I'm going to put that right on in here. Um, and it is so good. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Sam, how are you? So this has to grind for at least a minute to two minutes to get the sea salt chopped up enough. Oh, my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, my God. It kind of smells like the spa. Like when you go to the spa, yeah. you go to the spa, it smells like eucalyptus. That's kind of what it smells like. Oh my gosh, it smells yummy. Now I have used this on um, steaks. I have also used it popcorn. Popcorn. I have used it on um, uh, potatoes. I made those smashed roasted potatoes when I made the condiment meatloaf, the fast food drive food condiment meatloaf a couple of weeks ago. For dinner that night, I used um, made the little red potatoes. And, um, oh my gosh, look Check at that. Check out the nice green tint to this salt. Here, I want to taste that. I'm going to stick my hand in there. Oh my god. So good. So good. So I took the potatoes and cooked them in water for a few minutes, then put them in the sheet pan, smashed them down with some olive oil on top, and then sprinkled this salt on. Oh my goodness, they were killer killer potatoes. They were a big hit. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. That's right. So I told him he had to make his secret um, um, salt. So now he's going to show us. I've only heard about th this dish. His wife is um, raves about this dish he makes and how quick and easy it is. He's going to show you his egg poaching secret. This is my, one of my favorite breakfasts. Uh, it's one egg, half an avocado, uh, a little bit of uh, goat cheese and a sprinkle of, of uh, lemon pepper. The lemon pepper makes it. So it's a cup of water, and then you add two tablespoons or so of vinegar. Crack your egg. Ooh, yum. And then in the microwave it goes. He's going to put that in the microwave. For Lisa's microwave, it takes about a minute and 20 seconds. So about a minute, tw uh, tw uh, 20. My microwave is really, really nuclear, so you don't have to put things in there for long. So how long does this take in your microwave? A minute, 35 seconds. A minute, thir uh, th 35 seconds. Okay. All right. Look at my salt. It's awesome, huh? Now my jar is full again. Yay! Okay, what size? Just uh, a little. That's perfect. Okay. So we're going to chop up half of an avocado. Hey, Rachel, how are you? 
Rachel, are you guys home? I want to try and swing by there. Every time I want to swing by, you guys are off on an adventure. Because I still need to drop off your prize, my prize winner. Because it's going to be summer. I want you to be able to use it. She won the pool toy. Oh. So I want to drop it off there, but I haven't gotten it there yet. So then you put about, I don't know, an ounce to two ounces of uh, goat cheese oh crumbles. Oh my gosh, yum! Chopped up. I mean, I'm good right there. Uh, a fresh avocado and some goat cheese. Some lemon pe uh, pepper. Yeah. Sprinkled a little lemon pepper on there. Yeah. You gotta back up. His microphone is wired, so he's backing up to the microwave. So he doesn't trip himself. <laughs> oh. Yummy. That's easy. Egg, poached egg in a mug. Simple as that. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Spoon I love poached eggs. Poached egg. Oh my gosh. Look Take at that. it out. Oh, look at that yolk. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> show them how yummy that looks. So we have our half of avocado, goat cheese, and a poached egg in there. Poached egg in a mug. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? I think we should um, probably put a little salsa on that. Ooh, there you go. And uh, then we'll give that a little taste. Yeah. But you, you can use a clean one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Use a clean one since you guys are watching. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Let's taste this. This looks yummy. No wonder Sharon, his wife, raves about this. Oh my gosh. And this is why I've gained 20 pounds during the COVID-19. Mmm. Mm. Yum. Turned out good. Well, that's one of the reasons. The other one is he goes to the gym every single day. Rain or shine, every single day. Sometimes so that's twice. <laughs> so you haven't been there this whole time. No. So, oh my gosh, how yummy are those? And the salsa is delicious. So we have our um, giveaways for today, and I do have a birthday shout out for today. So let me grab my birthday shout out hat. We'll have you draw our winners. <laughs> you see our people. Birthday shout out. Okay, have a birthday shout out today to Natasha Deswald. Happy birthday to you. I hope you're doing something fun today. I know you have big plans in the next couple weeks, so I hope you're doing something fun today today and then today is national mustard day just fyi and uh tomorrow is sister's day so happy sister's day to my sister who's watching it's also ice cream sandwich day tomorrow just fyi so our giveaway today i have these really cool gary actually got them first he got them for christmas um these those mitts the barbecue mitts with the with the meat shredders is one and then i have another leather passport cover and um um luggage tag just because I am hopeful that we will get to use those things again someday soon. So reach in. Which one's mine? <laughs> you get the salsa. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give you some salsa. Okay, Nick Hansen. Dr. Nick Hansen, winner, winner. I don't remember what you've won already to make sure you don't haven't won one of these yet. Um, but I will send you one. Nick is a doctor working on the front lines in Oregon. And Zuri Falcone. Missouri winner winner so I hope you guys are all doing great it is a beautiful summer day August 1st it is August if you can believe that I can't believe it summer's almost over uh, I mean school starts for us on the 12th I mean starts I guess we're not going anywhere but um, they do have to I guess start re reading books so thank you guys for watching remember there's only two things you can control your effort and your attitude and thank you to my special guest Gary Young and uh, we, uh, you want to find the recipes, Gary will write them up for me for the salt and the salsa and the eggs. Uh, we'll put them here below in comments on Facebook. We'll also put them on our YouTube channel if you want to see the edited version and see Gary Scheffler's awesome graphics and editing. You can see these videos on our Ventura Real Estate YouTube channel. Uh, we'll also put the recipes there. So thank you for watching. We love seeing you guys, and we will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.